Hi, it's Christine here, Chris Saunders. I've been asked about these watercolour pictures and how you do them. So I'm just going to give you a quick um, demonstration. I've got water, artist acrylic paint, which is on the board, a flat top paintbrush, but a round one may do for this. I've got an embossing tool as well, you'll see why in a minute. And the paper I'm using is this um, De La Rowney watercolour paper, 300 GSM, so it's quite thick. It's called not pressed because it's, a, it's not a smooth surface, but it's also not a very rough surface. It's got a slight bobbly surface. So um, that's also 140 pounds, which you see on a lot of watercolour paper. That's just the weight of a ream a ream being 500 sheets. Um, so I'm going to use this watercolour paper to give you a quick demo. So there's no under drawing, under painting or anything like that. We're going to go straight in and I'll leave this piece just a bit, little bit further up so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Leave it underneath actually. You'll see the part of it. Um, I can always lift it up a bit later. Now I've got my paint on here. I'm just going to move this paint out of the way. First we've got water. Now on the top half, or I should say two thirds down, I'm going to soak my piece of paper. Absolutely soak it with water. This 300 GSM is thick, so you haven't got to worry about um, it cockling, they call it, buckling too much. Okay, and then the top third is wet. This part here is dry. I'm going to get some paint and water it down slightly. Go straight in at the top and bring that paint down, keeping the main colour at the top. Bring the paint down, down to where it's wet. And what I'm also going to do is put a little bit more colour just on that bit there. Don't drop it in if it's um, really wet. That's the best technique actually. If you just put some on your brush, don't worry about it too much. The more you worry about it, the worse it is. Get a piece of tissue paper, we'll make some clouds. And I'm just tearing it up and popping my finger on it inside. And I'm going to take some of the colour out by dabbing. Just dab the paper slightly. And as it's wet, it will actually take the colour out. I'll show you how to do clouds as well in a, in a moment with white paint. Um, but this is just one method of watercolour issues. Right, so we've got some sort of form of clouds. I'll just get a bit more paint and drop a bit more colour in on this bottom part. You can always add more water if you like. This watercolour paper is quite forgiving. And this is where the embossing tool comes in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw into the paper without um, a pen, just with my embossing tool. And what will happen is the paper actually um, marks and where all the little marks are the paint actually falls into it so you end up with little uh, what you'd call trees I suppose just do a line across there a couple of lines and that's our top bit finished and then for the bottom bit what I'm going to do the brush is quite wet so I'm going to dry it off quite a lot and I'm going to get some paint and keep it quite thick this time. Trying to avoid the wet bit, literally, you'll see what happens because the paper is quite um, bobbly. Your paint will actually hit the top of some of the paper and not other bits. And they call it dry brush technique. You just go over it quite quickly, adding a few little lines here and there. A bit more colour on the sides, just a tad, so I'm not going to be too fussy. A little bit more colour at the bottom, a couple of little lines to pick up. Finished almost. The more you fiddle with it, the worse it is. So, let's dry that off a bit. Now if you want a couple of clouds on it, or want to make another bit whiter, I've got a little bit of white artist acrylic here. Just put a dab on my board. That's far too much, but never mind. You only need a tiny bit for this. Again, I'm going to pop my finger in a piece of tissue 
grab a bit of paint and dab again. And where your fingernail picks up the paint, the top, it coats the top of the clouds. I've got loads on here so you can see what I'm doing, just rather than be a bit more delicate with it, but you'll get the impression. Add a few more bits and pieces. And then if you want to add a few little white lines, I just tend to squish across with my fingernail. Just add a little bit of highlight, not too fiddly. For Christmas stuff, you could always add some glitter glue. The white stuff would be nice. There we are, take that off. And there we have it. Another little watercolour. Not exactly the same as the first one, as you can see, but uh, finished. Hope that helps those of you that wanted to know how to do it. Have fun. Thanks.